Hi cruisers, it's Sherry from Cruise Tips TV. We recently had a viewer ask if we would do an episode on cruise ship spas. So Brie Nieves, this is for you. You can expect one of three different spa experiences when cruising. The first, we'll call traditional, is what you'll find on the majority of cruise lines, including Princess, Carnival, and Royal Caribbean. The traditional style is basically a spa, salon, and fitness center offered to guests as another feature or service of the ship. Much like the swimming pools, hot tub, buffet, etc., it's simply another component of the cruise. And this is terrific for people looking for a standard cruise experience. We've heard the second style referred to as destination spa. With this style, part of the ship is turned into an immersive spa experience. Think of a land-based spa resort and then set it afloat. These ships have specially designed spa cabins with easy access to the spa facilities and sometimes even priority appointments. There are also special spa restaurants that serve light, healthier food. Essentially, the entire cruise can center around the spa experience. For die-hard spa aficionados, this is the way to go. Look for this style on Costa and some celebrity ships. The third style is basically a hybrid of the first two. Some ships offer expanded spa facilities and spa cabins, tranquil thermal suites, steam rooms, and plunge pools that deliver more than a standard spa experience, but not quite on the same level as the destination spa ship. We've heard Holland America is leaning this direction with some ship makeovers. Now we'll divide shipboard treatments into two categories standard and non-traditional. Most cruise ships offer the same treatments as land-based spas, massages, facials, scrubs, and wraps. Standard treatments would be like basic Swedish, couples and hot stone massages, deep tissue massages, and aromatherapy with scented oils. Then there are facials for cleansing and moisturizing the skin. And finally, you have the exfoliating scrubs and wraps for detoxification. Yep, covered in mud or a similar substance and wrapped tightly in foil for about a half an hour. Now for the non-traditional treatments, think Metaspa. There are a variety of offerings in this category. Some include Eastern treatments like acupuncture, reflexology, and Reiki. Others are more cosmetic like dermal fillers, Botox, teeth whitening, and even ion therapy, cellulite reduction. The dermal fillers and Botox are, of course, designed to temporarily soften wrinkles and creases in the face. Both are injections. With ion therapy, as I understand it, one is covered in a special algae, wrapped in plastic, and given a little teensy amount of electrical stimulation to smooth out that cellulite. For the most part, don't expect any bargains when booking your spa appointment. With onboard spas, there's no real competition to keep prices down. In fact, just about every major cruise line spa is operated by the same company. So basically, they are free to charge whatever the market can handle. Typically, spa sessions are snapped up pretty quickly. So people, including myself, feel the onboard spa experience is worth a little extra expense. Cosmetic treatments, however, are often more reasonable and in some cases less expensive than land-based services. And there are some deals to be found. Cruise ship spas often offer discounts for first day and port day treatments. Stop by the spa as soon as you board and ask them what days they may be offering their best discounts or watch the ship's daily newsletter for deals. To prepare for your appointment, you'll want to shower off any sunscreen lotions or oils. You don't want any of that stuff rubbed into your skin during your massage or facial. Lockers, towels, robes, and slippers are usually provided by the spa. But if you're like me, you may want to wear your own flip-flops. Try to arrive at the spa at least 20 minutes before your scheduled treatment. You'll want to make sure you get every minute worth of your massage. We mentioned some Eastern treatments earlier that included reflexology, a type of pressure therapy, but you may receive a different type of pressure from your therapist. Don't be surprised if your therapist applies some heavy pressure to get you to buy high-priced products. We understand the therapists themselves may be under pressure to push the product, so if you don't want it, 
politely explain that you are definitely not interested. We were told once that the best way to handle this is to say that you purchased all of the suggested products on your last cruise and you don't need any anymore. I've never had any real issues with this, but we have heard of the hard sell being more than a bit of a buzzkill for some cruisers. Now one last thing, always check your charge slip before adding a tip. Some onboard spas automatically add gratuity while others don't. Typically we find that they are not added in, but it is best to check to be sure. That's it for this episode. Until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Psst, don't forget to subscribe. Click me or use the links below. Mmm, feeling kind of sore after that episode. Bad, stupid, it's gonna be stupid.